This season marks the first time in her tenure that fourth year head coach Tamara Inouye's upperclassmen will outweigh the rest of the roster. But that returning experience combined with four freshmen is valuable depth that this program plans to take advantage of. I think this is our best, best freshman recruiting class we've ever had um, at Irvine. We got a little bit more size, we got a little taller, so hoping to use that advantage as well. Um, but really, on the court, it's just hopefully, you know, scoring from a lot of different options. You know, we got a four-star athlete out of um, LA, Kayla Williams. Just the speed and the toughness she brings is, is tremendous. Um, Chloe Webb comes out from San Diego, you know, player of the year down there. It's her aggressiveness um, and her willing to just put herself on the line is going to help us in the style of play. Then we got our two Australians, you know, they, their teammates out there, two gold medals, uh, they went out there for their nationals and then their club, you know, Sophia Lacandro, she's 6'3". Um, just doing a great job, just finding herself in this team right away. Jay KD is probably one of our better communicators now, just helping each other out. So we can go 12, we can go 12, legitimate 12 deep. Our players are, are all in for that and, and understand their role, so I think that's the fun part about it. An invite to brag about the preseason WNIT will feature your eaters along with 15 other teams, 12 of whom made postseason in 2019. We have a very tough preseason. You know, we were playing four BCS programs. Um, we're in the WNIT at that point, Oregon State is our first game, so um, it's going to be a tough road as far as preseason goes. If we, we do not play 40 minutes, we will lose, you know, that's what will happen. And so I think, I think that sets a tone early on and the WNIT recognizing the success that they're doing here, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor to be invited, especially since Irvine's never been in that tournament before. Um, I think we're starting to get recognized a little better, which is nice. It's nice to see the hard work that my staff puts in and, and the players put on the floor. Last year's 20 win team marked the first time in 34 years this program has reached that threshold. But despite the victories, there's only one goal that this program has their sights set on for 2019-2020. I think every year, and especially this year, just just to go dancing. I think the NCAA tournament is is within our within reach this year, and I think that is um, a goal that we should have. Um, you know, it's it's really in the hands of my team. You know, do I think they can do it? Absolutely, they can do it. Um, it's the willing and wanting to do it every day.